Hello and welcome to another free tutorial video brought to you by rcnightmare.com. Today we're going to take a look at the uh, installing the RPM front bumper and skid plate for the Slash. This is uh, definitely one of the uh, most needed upgrades on this beast. As you can see I've already installed the rear bumper which is a huge upgrade over the uh, ready to run. But I don't know if you can see this. Let's see. But that skid plate takes a beating and what's happening here is it's folding up there I'm not a hundred percent sure why that's why that's happening and I guess I can't guarantee that it won't happen with the RPM, RPM setup but it seems to be a lot nicer you have a much heavier duty skid plate a nice looking front bumper let's get a closer look here so that's your chrome front bumper Now you've got your skid plate, which you'll see is following parts. So, well, you can't see that because it's too high. But anyway, you've got the uh, skid plate assembly, a couple of screws, a little manual, and your bumper. So I'm going to turn off the camera put these things together and come back and put them on the truck. Okay, welcome back. As you can see, I've taken the original skid plate off. It's pretty flimsy. Um, one thing I noticed though is it's got a little different design. It's got this kind of center brace that connects to the top of the, the slash, but the RPM front bumper doesn't have that same piece. It's a little bit different. Definitely way hardier though, way stronger hard, hard, just rock hard plastic. Um, so what I did on the bottom here is I've installed the skid plate mounting bracket just with the three screw, screws. One thing again, along with a lot of the things on the bottom of your truck, you'll notice at times these screws, you probably won't be able to see this, but they'll begin to wear um, as, as the ground rubs against them and dirt will get in there and kind of rub it all around and wreak havoc. Well, it's nice about the RPM stuff. Not that I know for sure the other stuff doesn't provide it. It includes all new screws. So I was kind of paranoid about how long those screws would last and am I going to need to tap them? Are they going to get stripped? Well, you throw a new bumper on every now and again and you should be all set. Once the uh, skid plate mount bracket is on, all you really need to do is uh, mount the front bumper on and you're good to go. Four more screws away and this baby will be complete. Uh, we'll throw the uh, full picture with the uh, RPM rear bumper and the RPM chrome front bumper on for you too at the end of the video. Okay, well we've completed, completed the uh, front bumper assembly with all the RPM hardware, nice and clean. One thing I really noticed that I liked a lot was the screw holes had a little bit more clearance on them, especially up here than what the stock tracks has had. So I'm hoping that these will wear down a little less aggressively. Um, again, they came with new screws, so I'm, I'm a little less worried, but uh, I'm pretty pumped about the uh, added protection. I've, I've uh, added that to the uh, blue RPM rear bumper. I know they don't exactly match, but I don't really care. <laughs> and uh, the cheesy chrome bumper, it may look a little bit better with the body on. But everything's mounted tight, it looks good. The skid plate is nice and thick, much, much better than what came with the stock. The skid plate, even the mounting thing, real flimsy. The RPM stuff, you could not bend. It wasn't pliable in your hand. The RPM stuff doesn't have, like I said, the top connector here, which normally you'll see connect from here to here. But apparently we don't need it. It's, it's mounted in by four really strong screws. And you shouldn't need the additional support with the much tougher plastic. So that's the RPM front bumper assembly and skid plate replacement for the Traxxas Slash 4x4. Uh, definitely a worthwhile upgrade to do. 
And if you have any additional questions, make sure you check us out at rcnightmare.com where we don't answer our questions with opinion. We go out and get the product, test it ourselves, and give you the right answer the first time. Thanks, and uh, hope to see you soon, and keep your video requests coming.